Thank you for renting a car carrier from Penske Truck Rental. When used properly, a car carrier is an ideal way to move your vehicle. Because we care about your moving experience and safety, we ask that you please pay close attention to the instructions in this video. Please note that there are limitations, and damage may occur to your vehicle or the car carrier if these instructions are not followed carefully. If you require the carrier's registration while you're traveling, you'll find it in the front inside frame rail in the document holder. The maximum width at the widest part of the front end of the vehicle to be towed is 79 inches. The maximum wheelbase of the towed vehicle is 125 inches. The towed vehicle's total weight can't exceed 4,055 pounds. The minimum and maximum tire sizes can be determined by taking the required information from the side wall of your tire and inserting it into the formula shown here. If the result shows that your overall tire diameter is between 22 and 28 inches, your tire size is compatible with the car carrier. Please refer to pages 28 and 29 of the Penske Towing Guide for more details or visit PenskeTruckRental.com. Preparing a car for transportation is a two-person job. On flat level ground, back up your Penske truck that's already been loaded with your belongings to the car carrier for easy installation. The person directing the driver should be well off to the side so the driver can see the person in the side mirror. Make sure the ball is directly under the front of the coupling device. The car carrier can be moved sideways to obtain proper alignment. When the tongue is lowered, it will move slightly forward. Your Penske car carrier will be equipped with a lever type coupler. With the lever in the up position, turn the handle on the car carrier jack to lower the coupler to the tow ball, making sure it's fully seated. Continue to crank the jack until it's in the full up position. Push down on the coupler lever to lock into position. Insert the locking pin if equipped. The car carrier may be equipped with one of two types of jacks. The first type is located in the center of the A-frame directly behind the coupler. No further action is required for this type of jack. The second type of jack is located on the left side of the A-frame. Once you have fully raised the jack, pull the spring-loaded pin and rotate the jack to be parallel with the A-frame. Then, reinsert the pin into the hole. Take the wires from the storage position and simply insert the plug into the receptacle on the back of the truck. Leave enough slack for turning movement of the car carrier behind the truck, but not so much that the wires touch the ground. Check the lights, both turn signals, running lights, brakes, and flashers. Your car carrier may be equipped with one of two types of safety chains or cables. First, there's a vinyl-coated cable type. These cables are to be crisscrossed underneath the coupler to form a cradle, and the hooks are to be latched into the eyelets on each side of the truck's tow hitch. The second type is a safety chain. Take them from their storage position and crisscross them under the tongue of the car carrier. Loop the hook through the eyelet and attach it to the safety chain itself. The chain should create a cradle and allow enough slack for turning movement of the car carrier but not so much that the chain hits the ground. Attach the hook from the emergency brake cable to the eyelet on the truck, making sure there's enough slack for turning. Make sure that the brake lever is completely in the green, brakes off towable position. If the lever is partially or all in the red, brakes on, do not tow position, the brakes have been applied and must be released prior to towing. To release the brakes, Insert screwdriver and pry upward on the retention plate. Before loading your car, make sure the Penske truck is in park and the parking brake has been set. Remove the safety pin, lift the ratchet handle, lift the pawl away from the sprocket, and unroll the straps from their storage position. Bring the straps on the outside of the car carrier. Repeat this process on the other side. Pull the ramps out of the car carrier by pushing down on the latch and pulling the ramp out by the handles.
Be careful while putting the ramps down on the ground to avoid pinching your fingers. Direct the driver of the vehicle up the ramps by standing in front of the car carrier. Approach the ramp slowly and cautiously. Check to make certain that there is adequate clearance between the ramps and the lowest point of your vehicle. Once the vehicle is halfway up the ramps, step aside to further guide the driver. The car should be pulled up to the front of the car carrier until the front tires rest against the wheel stops. Put the car in park and apply the parking brake. Remember to close and lock the car doors and windows and remove keys from the car before exiting. When getting out of the car, avoid stepping on the fender of the car carrier. It's not designed to support a person's weight. Place the straps over the tire. Make sure the inside of the strap is not against a suspension part, a brake line, or the brake assembly, as damage may occur. Adjust the straps so that they are on the tire evenly. Slide the ratchet assembly to the center of the tire. Pull down on the strap to make it snug and ratchet the strap down. Be sure the strap is centered and positioned properly over the tire and tighten it down onto the tire. Leave the ratchet handle in the down position by pushing up on the pawl to drop it down. Replace the safety pin so the ratchet doesn't release. Repeat this process on the other side. Take the rear safety chain from its storage position and loop it around a member of the car's frame and hook it to itself. Avoid placing the chain over any brake line or damage may occur. Refer to the decal on the inside of the trailer for assistance in proper placement. Attach the front safety chain in the same manner. Store the ramps by picking them up and sliding them in all the way until the latch locks them into place. Now is a good time to complete an overall car carrier safety check to ensure a trouble-free move. Make sure all assembly bolts, safety chains, tire straps, electrical hookup, and ramps are secure and in place. Also, make sure the coupler is properly secured to the ball of the truck. Your car is now secure and you're ready to be on your way. There are a few more important things you'll need to remember. Please do not attempt to back up the truck with the car carrier attached if you're not familiar with backing up a trailer. This could result in serious damage to your car, Penske truck, and car carrier due to jackknifing. Never load your car or tie to the car carrier any household goods or other items. This will create an overload situation and could cause failure of the car carrier during your trip. Never raise or lower the jack while your vehicle is still loaded on the car carrier. The jack is only capable of supporting an empty car carrier. Repeat the safety check after 5 miles and then every 50 miles thereafter or prior to departing from service and rest stops as components of the car carrier may loosen during travel. For proper vehicle unloading, Park the Penske truck and the car carrier on flat, level ground. Put the truck in park and apply the parking brake. Remove the straps by first removing the locking pin. Lift the ratchet handle and pull the pawl away from the sprockets and unroll the strap. Leave the handle in the down position so the vehicle does not hang up on the handle when backing off the car carrier. Take the straps off and lay them on the outside of the tire. Take the strap off in the same manner on the other side. Remove the safety chains from under the car. Double check to make certain nothing is securing your vehicle to the car carrier. Pull out the ramps and carefully back the car off the car carrier. Get someone to carefully observe the vehicle and car carrier to alert the driver of any problems. Go slowly so the back of the car doesn't hit the ground and the front of the car doesn't hit the ramp. Slide the ramps back into the car carrier until they are in the locked position. Return the straps to the storage position. Leave the handle in the down position and replace the safety pin. Return the safety chains to their storage position. If you need to disconnect the car carrier to load or unload the truck, please follow these procedures. Remove the emergency brake cable, the wiring harness, and the safety chains.
Remove the locking pin from the coupler if equipped. Raise the lever from the coupler. If the car carrier has the type of jack that is mounted in the center of the A-frame behind the coupler, crank the tongue jack until it is completely off the tow ball. When the tongue jack is lifted, it will pull back slightly. If the front of the coupler catches on the front of the tow ball, pull the car carrier slightly forward. If the car carrier has the type of jack that is located to the left of the A-frame, pull the spring-loaded pin, allow the jack to swing down, and lock the pin into the hole. Remember, never disconnect a loaded car carrier. This could cause serious injury as well as damage to your vehicle and the car carrier. When you return your truck and car carrier back to Penske, you don't need to disconnect the car carrier from the truck. Penske will take care of that for you. Please take the following added safety precautions when hooking up and using a car carrier. Contact your local Penske representative if you have any questions. Failure to comply with Penske's towing instructions may result in damage to your vehicle and the car carrier. Penske will not be responsible for any damage due to improper use. Thank you for renting from Penske. Have a safe trip and best of luck in your new home.